here. Time now is 1116 and we do not have any severe thunderstorm warnings in the area, but we do still have some flash flood warnings in place. I'm going to take you on a, a tour here of the Metroplex just to show you what radar is showing. Denton, Wise, Parker County, you're in the clear. No rain there except for maybe some patchy drizzle, but still seeing some very light rainfall in Collin County and in Tarrant County as well. Dallas County, another location where we're seeing some of that heavier rain along the southern edge of town. Now what we are looking at now is our flash flood warning that's still in place. It looks like that was just updated. Ellison Johnson County still uh, under that flash flood warning until noon today. I do see a strong storm just on the uh, southeastern side of Cleburne. It's not severe, but it is producing some heavier rainfall and uh, obviously that lightning as well. Across our eastern counties, Henderson and Van Zandt under that flash flood warning until 1:30. We still see some moderate to heavy rainfall at time anywhere from Terrell to Canton and even into Athens. So again, Henderson County included in in that as well. A lot of this will continue to taper off towards the southeast. The strongest storms now find themselves in East Texas and in Southeast Texas while we dry out. That is where we still find our severe thunderstorm watch. Most of North Texas is no longer in that watch, but Henderson County remains under that severe thunderstorm watch until noon today. So here's what you could expect for the rest of the day. Between now and two, scattered showers, maybe a few storms. Most of us will be completely dry. Between two to seven, dry, warm, cloudy, humid. So if you are heading maybe to the game later today, I don't anticipate you dealing with any kind of weather related delays during you getting to the game. But afterwards, closer towards about 10, we'll start to see some of these storms out to our west. We could see the potential for large hail, strong winds and a low tornado threat. Those storms making it in to the Metroplex closer to about midnight. And I'll show you the timeline, but I want to show you what the risk looks like. The highest risk is going to be along our western counties and our southern counties, including Hood, Johnson, Ellis County to the south. That's where we find our enhanced risk. That's a level three out of five. DFW, including uh, areas of Wise, Parker, Palo Pinto County, Kaufman, Rockwall under a level two or slight risk for severe weather up to golf ball size hail, 60 mile per hour wind gusts, low tornado risk all included in tonight's threat. So let me tell, uh, show you the timing here between 12 and about two in the afternoon. We'll continue to see this really taper off dry conditions between two and about six around seven or eight. Our attention is going to turn to the west because that is where our next line of showers and thunderstorms will be. This is showing you around 10 between 10 to about midnight. Those storms are going to make it along the western edge of Tarrant, Denton County. They'll be in Wise and Parker County. So that's what the latest update is showing. Of course, once these storms actually develop, we'll be able to track them coming in now, around midnight. We'll see these storms kind of crossing over the I-35 corridor between midnight and about two in the morning and then closer to about six. A lot of this activity really starts to kind of wind down. These storms, the more east they move, the weaker they'll get. This is for tonight, uh, so we'll be watching that right now. It's 66 degrees sustained wind of 28 miles per hour. So we've had a lot of moisture, uh, so any saturated ground once the winds get you know, going could very well still uh, mean some of those trees, especially the younger trees could very well topple over. So just be very careful as you go about your day. Our DBU camera still shaking. Look at all these trees. Look at how they're moving. A wind gust right now of 32 miles per hour. And like I said, our soil is very saturated. So we're likely going to be dealing maybe with some added uh, tree limbs, not from thunderstorm wind damage, but just from these breezy conditions, windy conditions we're expecting the rest of the day. We're not done with the storms today or tonight because daily rain chances do continue at least through the weekend. We could still pick up two to four additional inches of rain. Mark Dia.